Today, I'm going to talk about something way more important. Something you must know to actually crack your examination with good marks and ranks. The importance of your NCRT textbooks. Just sitting in the lectures won't be enough to get into that medical college which you actually want. This way of studying is going to boost your performance and increase efficiency instead of mindlessly jotting down the notes. How to absorb your textbooks like a sponge. How to absorb your textbooks like a sponge. A lot of you liked the previous dopamine detox video and asked for more such videos. So my dear students, today I'm going to talk about something way more important. Something you must know to actually crack your examination with good marks and ranks. The importance of your NCRT textbooks is no secret to any one of you. You must and must go through them a few times and be sure that you'll be able to answer any question in your NEET and JE examination. Today, I'm going to tell you exactly how you should be doing that. Just reading through them is not going to be much of a help. You need to first know how to understand everything written in them, which is never easy by your students because they are not written too thoroughly. And I would not recommend you to do it yourself. Instead, find a good teacher. One teacher per subject who has studied the same book over and over again and again for you. So all you have to do is listen to that teacher. Take lectures and understand the concepts and the content of the book. This is why finding a qualified enough teacher you can trust completely is so, so, so important. There are no steps to follow if you don't first grasp all the knowledge you can get. So being attentive during the lecture is very, very, very important. So is making notes while you are attending the lectures. The second step would be to open your book and then try to read all the topics that the teacher taught you in the class. Don't just sit in the class. Study there and call it a day. If you are not self-studying, let me be very honest, you are wasting your time. Just sitting in the lectures won't be enough to get into that medical college which you actually want. So read through your books as soon as you finish a lecture. You just freshly learned the concepts. So understanding the book will become easier. The third step which we all already follow is to highlight important lines of the course. But don't just try to highlight them to memorize them some other time. Try to recall as much as you can. Try to remember. When you feel confident that you are done reading every line, then you close all your books and take a page at the end of your lecture notes and divide the page into three parts. Start writing everything that you remember from the book and the lecture. This will also include solving the questions which you already solved during the lecture to see if you remember the method of solving. Recalling things from your fresh memory makes you remember them for a longer time. Once you have written down everything you remembered, open your textbooks again and check the things you forgot. Instantly write down in the second space and memorize them again. This is when you are ready to solve some new questions. So the next step would be solving questions from your NCRT, the solved examples, exercises, etc and then go ahead and try solving your DPPs. This method of recalling and reading is called blurting. And it is one of the most effective ways of remembering anything long term. My dear students, it might look time consuming, but it, it will actually save your time in the longer run. You won't waste your time studying the same lecture again and again and still forgetting everything after a week. One more advantage of doing this practice would be easy revisions. Since you already know what you might forget, you will pay more attention to it when you revise and waste less time on stuff you already remember. Let's do a quick repetition of everything I just said. Number one, clear your concepts and increase your understanding of the chapter through lectures from experienced teachers who have already deciphered everything your textbooks say in easy language for you and make notes with the teacher. Number two, start reading your NCRT right after the lecture. Highlight the most important stuff and try to remember as much as possible right there. Number three, close all your textbooks and open the notebook you take notes on 
and take a page at the end of the topic notes and start writing everything you remember from the book and the lecture along with the questions you already solved during the lecture. Once you are positive that you jotted down everything you recall, open your textbook again and write down everything you forgot in the second section of the page. Memorize it again right there and then start solving some new questions. This way of studying is going to boost your performance and increase efficiency instead of mindlessly jotting down the notes and highlighting every line on the book and achieving nothing my dear students. Unacademy. Let's crack it.